Welcome back to another Rat Face 44 Reviews. My name is James, and today we have G.I. Joe Classified Series Retro Carded Scarlet. So let's get this started. So let's take a look at the packaging. As you can see, there is a bubble and all of our accessories. You got some cool kind of, I don't know, uh, Hector Garrido inspired artwork here. My big qualm with the artwork is she looks a little too young uh, for Scarlet. I always picture her as uh, maybe in her mid thirties, uh, not late twenties, just my opinion, but still overall great artwork. I really like it. Uh, you got the uh, Hasbro old school logo at the bottom. And here's the figure with all the accessories and on the back of the packaging you have a file card here in several different languages you got the cross cell with the three figures duke is coming up next and in this video i will be doing a comparison with the vintage version of scarlet and the rest of the versions of Scarlet in the classified line. So stay tuned for that. Really like the GI Joe logo. No, a real American hero, unfortunately. Dropping down the camera and I keep all my packaging like a lot of collectors do. So let's open it up. I have my trusty scalpel and doing precise incisions <laughs> to take the bubble off the card. There it is, off the card. So here's Scarlet in the bubble. Let's take her out. There goes the stand. Warnings. So here is the stand. Might as well take a look at that. Standard stand. Uh, there is, it looks like there could be a, a name plate on there. It's the same mold as all the other ones. Uh, not the greatest stand in the world. Let's take the figure out of the bubble. There's the second tray. Let's take a look at the hair. Ponytail. The ponytail has a little hair tie there. And I might as well go ahead and take a look at the cartoon inspired laser rifle. Two different colors. You can see there's a, a darker tone here on the stock of this rifle and a port for blast effects. Very cool. I believe this first came with Grunt. And we have another ponytail here. And it's more straight as compared to the one that's kind of wavy. Very cool, I like that option. Next we have the backpack in a beige color. We've seen this before with other classifieds. And next we have uh, a really kind of bent, <laughs> uh, a kind of M16 machine gun. It is bent at the tip as you can see, unfortunately. Removal of the magazine in this beige color, same color as the rest of the accessories. Uh, Two-tone with a, a darker beige on the butt of the gun. Here is the sidearm for Scarlet. Same kind of thing, same color, two-tone. And I believe we've seen this before. Nice little detail here, not, uh, not too great. Next, we have the tiny little beige knife. Uh, same thing, two-tone. So for Scarlet here, she has four unique bolts, uh, assuming that uh, they all do different things. This one kind of has a pointy end. This one looks a little bit, uh, I don't know, sharper. <laughs> and this one kind of has like a, a different type of uh, end to it. This is pretty cool. It looks like kind of a, kind of a grapple, I guess. And this one, I don't know the difference between what this one is, but uh, this one looks like it has, has a kind of a, a butt end to it. And here is the bow uh, or bolt gun or whatever you want to call it. I'm not 100% sure what you call it, but it's in two pieces. It came apart when I was unpacking her. Um, there's a really thin part here on the weapon. You can see how thin that is and it is bent, unfortunately. And there is a port here so you could put the this end into it 
cool idea, but I wish this was made of a bit of a harder plastic. It looks like there is a scope on it, as you can see right here, or something. I'm not 100% sure, but this is her patented weapon. And next we have two fists, which is great. Uh, classifieds don't come with extra hands very often, which is very cool, very appreciative. And here is the figure. Um, I'm happy we got a retro inspired, vintage inspired Scarlet. And uh, we'll be taking a look, like I was saying, at the vintage and other versions of Scarlet in the classified line. So let's take a closer look at her head sculpt. Hope it's focusing here. Very nice paintwork here. You can see she has some earrings. Uh, she has some nice eyeshadow and blush and lipstick. The hair sculpt is great. I really like that. It kind of has like a two-tone hair color. Very nice. She has blue eyes. This head sculpt is really on point. I This is awesome. So as we move down, she has the red kind of a shoulder pad uh, just like the vintage she has the beige kind of vest going on here got like a some sort of uh, smoke grenade I believe on her shoulder there's a, a silver kind of a detail right here very cool kind of a dark gray undershirt which is really awesome And that detail kind of continues there on her abs there. That's pretty freaking cool. She's got a floating belt that's kind of glued, which is not bad. And you have the gloves here that go up to her elbows, trigger fingers. And we have butterfly shoulder joints. We got the diaphragm. She can actually look up as much as we can here. Move down. Very cool figure. I really like this figure a lot so far. You know, not too loose. Moving down here, you have her pouch and a holster for the knife. All done in this gray plastic and you got a red paint application here. You have tights on her legs, double jointed knees. We got a boot swivel. Nice detail on these boots. Very cool. Check that out. There's like a pouch there. I like how basic it looks because this is the way she looks in the real American Hero line. So we got some Shuriken Ninja Stars on her gloves. That's just like the vintage. And uh, there is a detail on her belt buckle there. That's cool. Kind of a, a darker gray buckle. We got some bullets sculpted on the floating belt yeah and that's it so let's go ahead and gear her up i'm gonna first gonna put on her ponytail see how that fits that plugs in really easily comes out really easily unfortunately not bad not bad but that'll get in the way of her backpack so I don't know what the point that is. That's kind of disappointing. Unless I put the wavy one on. And this other ponytail is very difficult to put in. Most likely probably gonna have to heat this up, but be very careful when you do, because it is very soft plastic. So it looks like the wavy one kind of goes over the backpack, which is that's pretty cool. So I'm filming this on June 4th. So happy Yojo day. So I want to put on the, I'm guessing I want to try out her bow uh, with the bent stock on here. That is unfortunate, but uh, I'm just probably just going to put it in her hand and you know, forget about it and try not to touch it. But the figure is awesome. The accessories are questionable, unfortunately. Um, I'm a little disappointed in the accessories. Uh, the quality of the accessories is not good. <laughs> not good at all. Um, why am I, uh, I'm not really that surprised. I just, uh, 
I want Hasbro to do better, please, with the accessories. You know, the quality of figure is good. It's not too gummy. So let's go ahead and put the knife in the sheath. Might as well gear her all up. Probably not gonna take this knife out. That's gonna go there permanently. So I just figured out the bolts probably go in her pouch right here. So let's go ahead and store those so we don't have to lose them. There's one. They fit very snug. <laughs> I'm gonna be very careful not to bend them. And these will stay there forever. So she has a sidearm and uh, no place to put the sidearm. Most likely it's just gonna be hooked onto this backpack just like uh, the other classifieds. Uh, you can fit it in the uh, trigger hole, I think. No. So as you can see, I was able to put the other rifles on the backpack. So there's nowhere to store her sidearm, which is unfortunate. Uh, I guess she's gonna have to hold it in her hand or something, but uh, I don't know if I'm gonna use that. She is known for her, the bolt weapons. So, you know, this figure stand is not working for me very well. She can't, she keeps on uh, pushing out from the pegs. So let's go ahead and do some comparisons. So here is version 1.5 of Scarlet in the classified line with retro carded Scarlet. As you could see, they're about the same height despite the stand here. I think they're, yeah, they're about the same height. Um, this one is kind of the younger version, the futuristic young version. <laughs> I do like the paint deco and I do like wave one of the classified line. I'm one of the few that really like the uh wave one of the classified line especially the scarlet i think she's underappreciated uh in my opinion so here is the movie scarlet um my unfortunately my camera wasn't recording and uh i just unboxed this one she looks really cool i do like the weathering on her chest piece here very nice detail uh first time ever looking at this I like her hair. It's permanent, which is fine with me. Very cool. And uh, she does look older than this Scarlet. So let's take a closer look at the face sculpts. Check that out, different face sculpt. Both are very good. Same kind of face printing technology. So let's do a comparison of the vintage. Check that out. One to one copy of the vintage. I've done this before. Let's go ahead and see who has the most paint applications. <laughs> I think they're pretty even despite the missing kind of silver detail on the vintage as opposed to the classified. Um, definitely uh, the cl uh, classified version came with more accessories. Of course, long hair for the classified backpack. You got the Ninja Stars on the gloves, just like the Vintage. Same color, uh, very, very one-to-one -one color match. Check that out. The Vintage one has a brighter red hair, which is cool to me. Uh, kind of wish it was a little bit brighter. That would have been cool. And I got the Notorious Straight Arm Scarlet here with the uh, uh, changed out O-ring. Uh, check out my video. Um, I do a, uh, an O-ring repair of Scarlet here. So there you have it, guys. There is my review of Scarlet. Um, almost every version of Scarlet here that I have. Um, the only one I'm missing, I think, is Ninja Force Scarlet. Um, never had a chance to get that, unfortunately. But these are all my Scarlets. Big gang of redheads. <laughs> And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. So I hope you enjoyed my review. I uh, appreciate all my subscribers. Thanks for watching. Yojo and Cobra!